Hey, what's up, everyone? Scalabos here. In today's video, I am going to be going over some of the absolute best hides in all these maps that you can use to do gen completions. This time in this map, there are two areas, and my friend the killer, by the way, just so you all know, this is just straight demo. This is not out in the world gameplay, simply because it's too hard to randomly get the map that you need to record. Here's my boy Michael. Played by none other than the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Manchild. What's up? <laughs> there he goes. His answer, his answer is uh, Michael's readiness. All right, this is the first area. You see all these lovely green bushes here? Now, you may have more times than one, but hey, this is a great place to hide. And whenever you are Claudette, it is. Actually, whenever you're anybody, it's a great place to hide, but especially when you're Claudette. There are a few, and I have to say it, there are a few caveats, a few conditions which are going to make this easier to do. For one thing, if you're playing Claudette, you're golden. That's just a get-go. For some odd reason, I don't know why it is, the game devs have decided this should be the case, the females crouch lower than the males. And a lot of times, their heads will be below the lines of things where the male characters crouching will not be. Another thing that's going to help you out to make this hide scheme a success is, you see that great little spine shield that I have down there that lights up whenever Michael comes around, or, well, any killer, but Michael in this case. That's going to help you out. You really want to have that spine shield. You really, if you can, get a tier 3 because that's gonna give you just that little bit of early warning that you need. Say you're up here working this gen, by the way, as you can see, this is the one house I'm talking about. You're up here working this gen, and bam -o, Michael comes in your range. All you gotta do, hop out the window. You go oof, but by the time Michael's up there, he won't hear you go oof, right here. Right here. Any one of these bushes is good, but Michael or any other killer really will not see you once you hit the ground, you say oof and hide, you're good to go. And any of these bushes around here are good meat for this, any of them. I have gone running and been just a hair ahead of the killer, had him swing, got out here on the porch and dropped down by this bush and totally lost him. So this is really one of the best hides so far as hide and field goes. There is another really good one. I'm going to go ahead and run to it. There's only really two great ones on this map. I'm going to go over both of them as soon as I find the right house. It's going to be the other blue house that we're going to be looking for. I do not know why this works. It shouldn't work, but it does. It's amazing. Okay, that's the block up house. Where's the other blue one that has the open porch? Or the open house. Here it is right here. Here we go. The other blue house, this, uh, this one, by the way, for this map, it'll always be these blue houses. The one that has the black bushes in the front and the one that's open porch like this. You'll come in, it's that single man gen right here. Now, a lot of times when the killer's coming, people will run upstairs. And that's, well, of course, where the killer goes, first thing. For some odd reason, and I have never, ever been caught in this area. All you gotta do, hike it around the chair right here and stay right here. Why? I don't know, but they never think to look behind this chair. See, and that's where they go, upstairs. Especially if you're sly, and I've done this before too, just throw them off the trail, if you actually have time to do it, is you'll be working the gym here, Michael will come in, or whatever killer will come in. You'll leave a little run trail up there and come right back down and get behind this chair. And if they see those red marks up the stairs, they'll go up the stairs and they'll come back, and you'll lose them. These are the absolute two best hides on the Haddonfield map. Let me go ahead. There's a, there's a third one that's good, but it's not as good. The only hides that I'm showing you guys in this video, and might, there might actually be two videos of this because there's a lot of places to hide as far as all these maps go. There's another house around here. I believe it's a yellow one that has those black bushes in the front of it, like the, they're all, all, all like these bushes right here, and sometimes there's a gin there. Let me see if I can find it. 
This one doesn't have a gen all the time, but it has, it has a gen right here a lot of the time. You do that gem, pop, here comes Michael, zip right over here to the bushes. You are, as you can see, straight, dead, invisible. Invisible. Now, a smart killer might step back there, but again, I have been caught here less than 5% of the time. And there's a gen right there, right there. That's one of the requirements I have for the, for the really good hides on these maps is they need to be close to a gen or close to a hook or close to something that is of game value. All right, on this map, that's really the three best hides. There isn't anything else that's really, I wanna say guaranteed, but those three right there will do the trick every time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to where I'm playing Michael and he is playing Claudette. He's gonna hide in the same spots and I'm gonna give you a shot at what the killer sees when he's trying to find you. All right, let's, switch, let's, let's go ahead and switch over and uh, I'll do that now. All right, in this version, I'm playing Michael and you're gonna see all this through the killer's eyes and Dr. Manchild is going to be Claudette and he's gonna hide in the same spots so you can see what's going on with this. All right, you can go ahead if you want and uh, come up here to the upstairs one. All right, so I'm coming in the building. He's working his spine. His spine tilt goes off. He jumps out the window. You see some scratch marks. You know he jumped out the window. That's cool. So you jump out the window after him. And you're struck with, which way did they go, George? Which way did they go? Because you're looking around. And he's right there. Right there. Now, Dr. Manchild, if you hide directly behind the bush, you're even more invisible. There you go, just like that. See, that made that, 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 that blocks out your outline. It's even better. And then once you get there, don't move at all. But that's what it looks like from the killer's eye view. If you're standing even this far away, so crouch down, don't move. If you're standing even this far away, unless, <laughs> unless you have some kind of perk to, to let you know where a person's at, you're not finding them. Look, I'm like right here. I'm right on top of him, literally standing on top of him and cannot see him. His head moves every once in a while and then you can see him because he's trying to look around. But <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's nodding his head. And that's what that looks like. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one with the uh, chair situation. Well, I'll tell you what, she leaves scratch marks like a crazy girl. Good Lord. Is that what I look like running away? Good night. <laughs> it's like scratch marks all over the road. It's like the whole road scratched up. Did you find it over there? Unlucky spawn. It hasn't come in. Yeah, it's always here. The house is always here. There it is. Yeah, the house is always here. That's why I picked that for a top hide. This house is always here. Let's go ahead and go behind the chair. It's all right. They know, they got the gist by now. What's up? Okay, he's got the little scratch marks that say he went up the stairs. But he is actually right there in front of me. He is right there behind that wall in front of me. And you can only see him if you're about that close to the window and, and he moves. If he doesn't move, it's a little blob that, yeah. Come inside. Even if you're up the stairs here, you, can, you can't see him if he's crouched down, stayed down, and doesn't move. Even if you're looking from on the stairs. Come to the back door. Same thing. This is all the various angles. He's absolutely invisible from every single angle. All right, let's do the honorary, and uh, then we'll cap this video off. The honorary is a yellow building. It's the tall yellow one. One of the two tall yellow ones. Is this one? I think it might be this one. 
Yeah, it's this one right here with the car in front of it. It has the car in front of it. This is the one I call an honorary because the generator just spawns here sometimes. As soon as that thing goes off. Alright. You come over here, you kick the gen. You, the obvious, the, one of the reasons these hides work is because the obvious path for people to go where the killer would think you went is not where you go. It would be obvious to duck through here if Michael were coming for the gen or to run out this way, what have you. You are literally right here. I am standing right in front of Claudette. Don't move, Claudette. Let me go to a different angle. Again, standing right in front of Claudette. If she doesn't look around behind her, she won't move. And that's another key. You know, I, I forgot to mention that earlier, and it really will help you out, too. These hides are good, but they become better if you don't try to look behind you. When you try to look behind you, the character waves his head and does all this and that and the other. And it is easier as a killer to spot a player if they're moving. And that, that goes for not only the hides, but for general gameplay, moving around, moving through the bush. Try to be still as much as you can. Get where you're going, but try to be still as much as you can. All right. That right there is the three hides that makes Haddonfield pretty much gold. Now, you can't see my lovely face because I'm playing the killer, but that's okay because I'm going to go ahead and do the outro now anyway. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, if you got a laugh at any of our foolishness, by all means, like, subscribe, share, yell my name to everybody you know. Name your firstborn after me or just celebrate a holiday in my name. It's good. I'll do all that. What, 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 why are you why are you bowing? Are you, are you want me to beat you up now? No, I'm, that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to beat her. All right. Anyhow, until next time, this is Killer Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Gamer Skeleton Mystic? In today's video, I am going to be going over some of the absolute best hides in all these maps that you can use to do gen complete.